Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. So, the four rock hoppers are completely done. I dropped that video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I am working on what I think we're calling the Gadsden now. Um, this guy, uh, yeah, he scares me. So I got him back from Heat Treat and I am just kind of doing some finishing touches on it. I got it really thinned out. So I got that edge nice and thin now. So I need to hand sand it and get it prepped for handles. Um, it's also going to be acid etched and tumbled. So I have to prepare for that. But um, the two, wow, that tip is scary. It just goes to nothing. So whoever's getting this, buddy, uh, I think we all know. I think it's Blade, Blade Walker. This is Blade Walker's design. Blade Walker, buddy, don't drop this thing because if it falls on the tip, whew, I can't promise you that's not going to break. Uh, 63 HRC, but all that stretched out tip, man, it's uh, scary. It's really, really scary. So I have to hand sand it. I was getting ready. I have it in the jig, getting ready to start hand sanding this one out. Um, there we go. And then... I'm waiting for the two stainless to come back. When the two stainless come back, I'll just continue working with all of them just like I normally would. So let me get started on this guy. And then hopefully by the end of this video, maybe all three of them will be looking really good and getting ready for handles, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I also, if those don't come back in a reasonable amount of time, I have the mini gargoyle, which I've ground down and the ooh, naked, column which needs a lot of work still too so uh i always have something on the back burner to work on but these two aren't in any kind of a hurry whatsoever these i believe are just going to be october builds but i'm already kind of getting a head start on that so very cool lots of good things going on all right guys got a package in today you know what that means that's right that is right if you guys have been following along you know what's in this package. I'm gonna use my Pyrite, CJRB Pyrite that I have in my pocket today. Let's open this thing up. Um, uh, let's just cut it. I know what it is, you know what it is. We all know what it is and it's gonna be awesome. Ta -da! I don't remember sending the red, but keep that. Here it is. I got it. Yes. Okay, nothing else in the box. We got this. We got this. Ta-da. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, wow. All right, so let's get this off. How did they wrap it? Oh, that came off real quick. Um, how did they wrap that one? Hmm. So, what this is, if you're new and you haven't been following along, this is the stainless AEB-L rock hoppers that were sent off to get heat treated. And they have all been heat treated and tempered. Um, and... I have a lot of cleanup to do on them now. Uh, how thin did I get those? That's pretty thin. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I'd like to get those a little thinner actually. So what I'm gonna do, I need to get these cleaned up and then I'm gonna try to thin these out just a little bit more. Um, it's a little bit too thick at the edge. So I'm gonna try to thin that out just a little bit um these are a much thinner stock than normal but i need to thin these out just a little bit more just a hair and then i'm going to start hand sanding and getting them all cleaned up so it's time to go to work
Well, all right. So I got these um, looking fairly good. Uh, still have some cleanup to do. They're not perfect, but they are ready for the next step. So I need to put the maker's mark on these two. I have decided that one of these, I'm gonna keep a hand satin finish and the other is gonna get acid etched um, and tumbled. I believe, I think this one, I'm gonna acid etch this one and tumble it just because there's just some imperfections that I know that the acid etch and tumble are gonna hide on this one. So, and this one is gonna get the purple, I think it's the ultimate purple Kiernite. And then this one is gonna get the blue and black Jamascus handles. So the thin rock hoppers are gonna be pretty awesome. So these guys are be nice and thin and slicey and uh, really looking forward to getting them finished up. But we're gonna do the maker's mark and then move on to the next step. All right. All right, guys, got the <clears throat> maker's mark done. Looks pretty good. And on this one, I think this one is going to be the one I'm going to acid etch and tumble. Um, maybe that light's a little bit too bright. Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. So the maker's marks are on. They both look pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that those came out. This one's going to be hand sanded and this one's going to be acid etched. Just a reminder, the hand sanded is going to get the Jamascus blue and black Jamascus handles. So that's going to be on that one. And the acid etched is going to get the ultra purple Kyde, um, Kiernite, sorry, Kiernite. So I have to clean these guys up and get them prepped for handles. Um, what I can do is start etching this one. So I'm gonna go etch it and tumble it. And then I can start cutting out all the handle materials because I've already laid out what I think is gonna be cool for this one. You're gonna, gonna have all this movement in here. This side's gonna have all the movement in here and both are gonna look pretty awesome. So I'm pretty excited about how those are gonna look. And I really think the purple and the yellow with the acid etched and tumbled blade is gonna look pretty cool. Um, so I'm excited about getting these guys done. And don't think I've forgotten about this one. Uh, I have been working on the Gadsden as well I'm hand sanding all this out. I'm starting to see why LMAX can be a pain <laughs> because getting all of these grind lines out of that is not easy. So I got one side pretty much there, still a little bit of work left to do on that. And then I'm gonna do that side. This one also is gonna get acid etched and tumbled. So I don't need to do such an amazing job getting everything perfect because the acid etch is going to wear away any small little scratches on this so i'm going to try to get it as fine as possible and then this side i'll do the same so it's going to be acid etched and tumbled and i'm still waiting for the handle material to come in on this it has been shipped um but i haven't gotten it in so i'm not in a big hurry to get this one done either um but reminder this is uh the thicker piece of lmax and it's the first time I've worked with LMAX. And so far, it's pretty good. It's just, I can see why hardened LMAX at 63 HRC is not easy to hand sand. So <laughs> the, L, the Magna Cut wasn't terrible, but anyway, we're talking rock hoppers 
and I really need to get these two done here in the next couple days by the next week so I can get them all ready for the Etsy drop lit at the end of August. Um, I'm hoping all six are going to drop at the same time and hopefully everybody gets a chance to grab one. There's only six of them, but I, I, I can only do so much, guys. But uh, thank you very much, you guys, for your support and watching the channel. Handle work will all be on the next one, and hopefully by Friday, that's what we're going to be working on. Um, I doubt I'm going to get that much done. I might be cutting and getting everything ready for glue up by then. There's only so much I could do, guys. Only so much. But thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe, like, leave a comment, or not. As always, the choice is yours.